Good morning, everybody. Today I have this Peterbilt with a Packard engine. And it is running a region because we're doing a te we're doing some testing. Uh, this is a 2018 model. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, see, the temperature is not that hot, and the reason why I'm showing the temperature is because. Um, uh, this truck is having problems. Um, let's check it out. See, even the dashboard less than 200, uh, and it has 200 miles, 200,000, um, 273,000. And uh, this is a local truck, and that's the reason why it has very low miles. Anyway, uh, the problem that we have in on this. Uh, a Packard engine is then uh, we are getting excessive pull and pressure. See, as you could see, the temperature was not even two, 210 or not even the activation temperature for the fan. The fan is not even activated and the pressure is all the way up. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, the complaint of the driver of this truck is like, the pressure goes down, and then all of the strain goes up, and then you go down, that, that's obviously that there is a lot of pressure over here, and that's what you can see, so, the pressure doesn't go beyond this point, because we have this uh, a pressure relief tab over here, so that one, that one right there, that is a pressure relief tab, that, that, that's going to release the excessive amount of pressure, after 15 psi, going to release the pressure so that way none of the hoses break. Um, but uh, see, we are still in pressure. So, just to give you an idea, I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna dump some of the pressure. All right, see, I open see. and see how fast the pressure goes up. It's moving liter by liter. It shouldn't be doing that at all. And continues going. See? That is something that it shouldn't be doing. Especially in the ending is not at maximum temperature. And especially in the ending is just sitting doing rigid. Maybe if the truck is uh, on on a heavy load holding a trailer probably is okay for the pressure to go up because of the high amount of temperatures that the engine is creating but in this case radiant doesn't create high amount of temperatures at least on the engine uh, but see it is getting closer to the mark it was before and see the pressure see the coolant level is going down uh, if you can see here you can see walls I might be unable to see the bubbles right there. See? Um, the way I see the problem with this Packard engine is that we have problems. Oh, uh, we have problems with the engine. The engine is having problems. See? The pressure is going down. That's the way it should be. That's the way it's gonna be when the temperature goes all the way up. But eventually, yeah, the level is down. That is uh, the problem, too. So, uh, I believe that this truck, see, uh, I can see the bubbles right here. Some bubbles coming up and down. Usually, the coolant in this case, the coolant goes down only. So, because this is the suction to the pump, so the coolant goes down. There is nothing uh, that is supposed to go up. If there is something going up, that means there is pressure being released. But, see, it went down and now it's going up again. Liter by liter, see how it's moving. shouldn't be doing this 
as I gave before, because this truck is not under a load, and the temperature, uh, I mean, the, the fan activated, so it reaches the maximum temperature. But still, it shouldn't be going all the way to the top, see? No spot. So, which means that this is very possible that this truck has problems with the engine, the engine head, the engine uh, uh, cylinder head gasket. Uh, maybe the EGR cooler sometimes tends to do that, or maybe the air compressor. But uh, most of the time, when you have a problem like this, then the pressure is going up non stop. Uh, usually, it's the engine cylinder head the one that is having problems. It could be the gasket or maybe the seating of the cylinders is not proper and it's leaking compression causing the problem then the pressure goes up non-stop and uh, sometimes the temperature goes uh, high too so uh, of course see now it's almost close to the maximum see? so well i mean i think like this engine is uh having issues I don't know if there is other Packard engines with the same problem but in this case that's what we have that's really bad a big expense to do to, in this truck there is nothing else to do I will say maybe I will check some other stuff maybe I will check uh, if the thermostat is open uh, by checking the temperature reduction uh, when the fan goes activated let's see See the fan, the temperature is 210 right now. So the fan is about to be on. It's made of time, probably 210, 215, that's the uh, temperature where the, uh, where the fan gets activated. Depending on the manufacturer, it varies. Uh, but usually it's between 210 all the way to 225, depending on the manufacturer. So let's wait until the fan gets activated. And then we're gonna see if the temperature drops as the um, fan gets activated and if that's the case that means that the coolant system is working way the cooling system the, uh, the thermostat is open and it's allowing the temperature i mean the coolant to flow around the engine cooling the temperature down internally of the engine and uh, the problem is then the actual engine is leaking the compression and causing high uh, leak to the coolant and uh, the cooling system see now 215 temperature activated the fan and let's wait let's see how fast it now it's dropping which is good so that means that the coolant system the cooling system is circulating the engine uh, the way it's supposed to uh, do it so the problem is definitely it is internal with the cylinder head somewhere in there I think it's causing this issue um, there is no low coolant, uh, low coolant uh, uh, warning so far, so that means then uh, we're okay. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you then. Uh, well, I mean, like uh, these engines are all exposed, regardless of what manufacturer they are: Volvo, uh, Detroit, Packard, Cummins. They all have the same problem. At some point, then is engine failure. And in this case, this truck is experimenting that by having high pressure um, in the coolant system, the cooling system of this truck. So, well, I mean, like, uh, this is very bad, especially for uh, a truck with 200, uh, less than 300,000 miles. But of course, this is a local truck and uh, uh, doesn't drive that much, mostly. Uh, um, local so you spend a lot of time on but not uh you don't have that much uh, time on the highway see you can see how it's going up not good at all see very fast you shouldn't be doing that It's up, down, up, down. That's because of the pressure release of the tank is letting the pressure up, down, and up, and down, and up. But uh, it's not enough to release the pressure completely. And uh, yeah, we cannot see anything here. But in some cases, you can see the bubbles, some bubbles here going up. Anyway, this is all I wanted to show you with this uh, Packard engine. This
this is at 2018 and um, you can see there is no oil there is no fuel there is nothing in the tank it is just in the pressure is going about normal no good at all see maximum so the thing is like if we if we block if we block the pressure release on the tank on the other side if we block it the pressure is gonna go all the way up and it's going to uh, create over pressure problems and that is going to be very bad but anyway this is all so if you have any questions about this uh park car engine I don't, uh, you can comment below to be honest i don't know what the owner of this truck is going to do uh if they're going to prepare it or they're just gonna like junk it or i don't know but uh we'll see what they say about this failure and if they decide to do something of course we're gonna do a video and show you what was the problem after the high pressure and this engine had uh, on the coolant system so stay tuned in my channel like the video look for me on instagram francisco maya youtube um, there is more videos like this coming soon more videos about Parker too and giving you more information so um, see you later see you next video